a controversial decision nearly one year ago. He's a fraud. He's a fraud. He manipulated the system. He ain't the real champ, and I am. I'm the final edition of Premier Boxing Champions of 2019. He is poised to cap off a monster year. And there he is, uh, the last man to make the walk on Saturday night. WBC super welterweight champion Tony Harrison. Super bad defending his title for the first time 364 days after capturing the belt from Jamel Charlo. The Fox and PBC press conference starts now. And here's a live shot for you of the press conference stage. Harrison, Charlo and the rest of Saturday's Fox main card taking to the stage in just a few minutes' time. Don't move. Yes, hello everyone. Welcome to the Fox Sports Studios here in Los Angeles. Kate Abdo alongside Hall of Famer Ray Boom Boom Mancini and former two-time super middleweight champ Anthony Durrell with us as well. Good to have you both. Happy holidays. Both Happy holidays to you. Thank you got good plans? Yeah, well, be with the family. Not, not, not going anywhere extravagant. Just be back in Youngstown. It's the best place to be during the holidays. Very nice. I've seen you doing some turkey runs. You've been doing everything. Yeah, I've been. The I got Darrell's 12 Days of Christmas giveaway. I've been giving out just random acts of, you know, of kindness. Spirit. Yes. I love so that. Nice. I saw that. And you tag on Instagram. Yeah. You you encourage other people to do the same. Yeah. Uh, looks like your cuts healed nicely from the fight in September. It has. When are we going to see you back in the ring? Uh, I want to be back in there soon. I want to be back in there, especially early earlier this year. You know, I talked to my team, uh, my advisor. And we're trying to get back in there soon. Have you written a Christmas list to Al Heyman? Is, is there anyone on there? I, I want the rematch. I think we didn't give the fans the whole show. I think we, we cut their money's worth for their tickets uh, short, and I think we should do it again and, and really get it back in there. I'll be down for a sequel. Uh, there is one big fight on Fox left before Christmas time. Jamel Charlo against Tony Harrison, the rematch. Their first fight kicked off the new era of PBC on Fox. Let's take a look back at that night in Brooklyn. Jamel Charlo was the champion, the heavy favorite, and he fought like it as well, coming out aggressive, looking for the knockout in that fight. The challenger, Tony Harrison, rose to the occasion, boxing and executing a more calculated game plan. All three judges in the end siding with Harrison in what some said was a controversial decision. Charlo outpunched Tony Harrison, landed more power shots, but Harrison did do a masterful job fighting behind that jab, uh, landing 30% to Charlo's 16%. It was the only fight of Jamel Charlo's career that he was out jabbed in. Ray, was that the, the story of this fight for you? Yeah, I think so. I think uh, Tony, you know, won it with his jab. Yes. I, I look, personally, it was a very, con it was a very close fight, very controversial. I'm one of the guys who thought that Jamel won the fight, uh, but Tony. Fought a hell of a fight. It was a great fight, which is why we're seeing the rematch. Uh, but his jab dictated a lot of that. Plus, Tony's punches were short and tight inside of Jamel's wide shots. I think that was a that was a big uh, for the judges that, that caught their eye also. Yeah, I think I think Tony used his counter punching very well. I think he used his jabs very well. I think he was the. I, I'm not going to say aggressive, but when it comes to punching, he wasn't shy of throwing his punches or getting hit. He, he just wanted to land his punches and go. Uh, so, Tony, dictating the fight with his jab, how does Jamel Charlo keep that from happening again? Pressure. Pressure negates a lot of things. And he's got to, you know, by taking away his jab, pressure, stay on top of him, banging that body, keep tacking that body, and once you tack that body, don't worry about the chin, tack the body. Once you tap the body, touch it, then go upstairs from there. And you can't have too much pressure, though, right? You gotta, you gotta be cautious of going in there because Tony is such a sharp shooter, especially with his jab and his counter punching, that you gotta go in there and and and, and be conservative, especially when you pressure him. But he does have the pressure; he has to throw more punches and and convince the judges that he's going to win easy this time. Uh, Ray said he agreed, thought it was a controversial decision. Did you think the right man won the first time around? Uh, I, I thought it was close. I thought it. I thought it could have been a draw, but. It's boxing. Like I say, you have to win uh, convincingly, especially for the judge, because they have a different look. Every judge have a different look on the punches that's landing or the, pun the punches that's getting thrown. And, and you have to win convincingly every round uh, mm -hmm. so you can't... So the judges won't take that into a hand. Gotcha. Well, uh, Jamal Charlo was the aggressor in the first bout, constantly moving forward, pressing the action as well. It wasn't enough for him to get the win. Uh, Anthony, what did he do well in the first fight that he can replicate, do you think, now come Saturday night? Just going, doing the same thing kind of if he did this fight, just going in there, pressuring him, but be conservative because you don't want to get hit with counter punches by him. Uh, throwing more punches, uh, 
and, and not looking for the knockout so much uh, because he looked for the knockout in that fight a lot. And not just looking for the knockout, but going there and just do what you know how to do. And that's, you know, be a dog and get in there and be smart with it. Having seen the build-up to this one, it feels like it's going to be even more difficult for him to go in there and not look for the knockout. Oh, well, no, of course. I mean, they genuine dislike for each other. Tony's really gotten under his skin. Tony's good at that. Tony's good at psychological warfare, man. He really is. <laughs> and uh, as the, oh, if the fight's half as good as the press conferences have been, we're going to have a great fight at the year, Canada. Now. I think Jamel just has oh. to stay strong. On uh, PBC. Keep his composure. But pressure, pressure, pressure. Keep tight, punches tight. Last night, I can say, it was wide with his shots. Tony punched inside his punches, up through his punches. Keep the punches tight on the inside. He had Tony on ropes a lot of that fight. He just didn't keep him on ropes. Mm -hmm. Keep him there. Don't let him off. Well, as you just saw there, Jamal Charlo also arrived in the building. Now, it is a huge night of boxing on Saturday night to close out 2019 for you. The main card gets going on Fox at 8 Eastern, starting with the only local on the Fox portion, the undefeated Carlos Balderas from Santa Maria, taking on the 13-1 and Rene Tellez Giron. Heavyweight sluggers F.A. Jagba and Yago Kaladze are scheduled for a 10-rounder in the action as well. The night gets started on FS1, 6 p.m. Eastern is the time. In that headliner, Oxnard, California's Hugo Centeno Jr. takes on Mexico's Juan Macias Montiel at middleweight. Uh, Anthony, another name on that card, your brother Andre returning to the ring in an untelevised bout. Hasn't fought, of course, since 2018, March, was it? Uh, how does a fighter come back into the ring and shake off that ring rust after such a long layoff? Uh, just coming off two surgery, he got to get in there. This is his get-back fight. Uh, he's going to get back in there and show everybody at the weight he's at as 175 that he's a contender and he's ready to compete. Uh, I sparred with him a, a few rounds last week, and uh, he looked sharp as ever. He looked like the old Matrix is what we used to call him. And I, I'm just ready to see how he, he performs on Saturday. You know, a lot of guys who take time off, it's, it's good for the healing process, but a lot of guys like me would never... My style fight, it was not good to have long mm. layoffs. Maybe for, for Andre it is. Uh, but, you know, fighters have got to fight. Fighters have got to fight, you know. So uh, I'm glad he's getting in there. Get, you know, I, I'm looking forward to seeing him and hopefully get to the you know, next step and get another title. Mm. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to I agree. To Best of uh, luck to him, yeah. Uh, the champ, Tony Harrison, in the building. We're going to hear from him before he hits our press conference stage in Southern California. There's a live look for you inside the Toyota Arena where it's all going down. The four undercard fighters are going to face off next, followed by our main event fighters. You are watching the PBC Fight Night press conference on FS1. Now, on PBC Face to Face. A controversial decision nearly one year ago. He's a fraud. He's a fraud. He manipulated the system. He ain't the real champ, and I am. I'm the real champ, and I believe that it take me to get in there and show why I'm the champ. And I get to do that on December 21st. Months of building anticipation. I'm the most dangerous guy in the division. 6'1", super fast, strong. So I just carry all the attributes that a guy really don't want to fight. A rematch that has become bitterly personal. It's not a drop of love in my heart for him. It's a lot of animosity, a lot of bad blood, a lot of hate. It's only one way to settle that, man, that's fight. But before Tony Harrison and Jamel Charlo go toe-to-toe, -to -toe, they'll first go face-to-face. -to -face. Three seconds, two. We talk about June 23rd taking place. It didn't happen. It didn't happen. You was at my fight. I was there. That was my show. It was, it was, on, it was only it was supposed to be you a show. You enjoyed it? Did you enjoy it? I was the only one fighting because I ended it in the third round. What you expect? Oh, I didn't get, I, he didn't it's throw any punches It's supposed to be your show. He didn't throw any punches at me? It's supposed to be your oh, show. I, so I, had, I guess I had to walk side. At that point, at that moment, I guess at, at that moment when I didn't walk through them doors and you wasn't fighting me. Why you didn't walk through the You was the A-side guy. In reality, the You was the A-side guy. You, had, you hurt you. Was, you was the ace I got when you wouldn't fight me no more. It was your show. You're right. It was mm -hmm. your show. When you make that type of accusation, those are lofty I'm words. Making you, you're saying he, him, right? he calls in, he's faking an injury. Why would he do that? Well, that, well that, that, that's what you should be asking the show. You see, I, I, you don't, see. I don't know. I don't know why. Why you think that? Faking it for who? You? You rolled an ankle or something? Who, who, why would well, I really fake have? it? Why would I, I fake it? I, I really can't answer that question for you because 
He the one that has to answer that. Why would I fake it? What, what is there to fake? What, what, am I, what am I running from? You? Why would you fake it? What, 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 am I, what, am I, what am I What am I? running so, from? So, let me tell you something. Okay. I ain't gonna tell you what I believe. I'm gonna tell you what I know. And I'm gonna tell you facts. And I'm gonna tell you reality of things. This man of his word, this man of his talent, his skills, this man of him, Tony Superbad, Detroit native, all of these massive things that he represent, oh. that he got on his, on his back, right? Yeah, yeah, all or nothing. He goes in and says he could fake an injury, then all of a sudden, a week later, two weeks later, he's postponed. How do you respond to that? I wouldn't. So all, we doing all this, we doing all the speculations on, on like I said, like... We, know, we, like, we really like, defining like, like, where your heart is, at. The thing we is... We defining where your heart at. I'm here, ain't I? Where your heart at? Am I here? Why you pull out dude, June 23rd? Am I here? I mean, did you really hurt Sir, your ankle? Sir, am I here? Did you really hurt your ankle? Like, come on, bro. You I'm listen like, to yourself. How much, how much sense do this guy even make to himself? Oh, man, I mean, I, 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 put, I pull out a fight to come back again and fight you again. I could just fight somebody else if I wanted fought, to. You could have fought June 20. You can't fight anybody else because the WBC I could have. Homeboy, cannot, homeboy, listen to me. Homeboy, listen you don't to know me. nothing. Homeboy, you don't homeboy. You don't either. Uh, <laughs> Nowhere near. Uh, cub. You a cub. Uh-huh. Young cub. Ooh. All right, well, Tony Harrison cub. wasn't ready in June. You know why he Jorge, wasn't ready? Jorge Cota was, though. And he stepped up to the You stepped up. You took a pair of business to the level a lot of people thought, Tony, Jermel Charlo made a statement that night against Jorge Cota for one man, and that's super bad Tony Harrison. Jermel Charlo for statement the WBC received. What was your Super Welterweight Championship, Saturday at 8 Eastern, 5 Pacific, only on Fox and the Fox Sports app. Here's a look for you downtown Los Angeles, just 30 miles west of Toyota Arena in Ontario, the site of Saturday's fights. With a high of 70 degrees, it'll be a nice winter evening for fight night. Mm. Is that nice? I don't know. If you haven't bought a ticket, don't worry. This is our schedule for the weekend. The weigh-in show starts at 5.30 Eastern tomorrow on FS1. Then on Saturday, it is the FS1 PBC fight night at 6, followed by the Fox fights at 8, headlined by Harrison Charlo, the rematch. All right, welcome back to the Fox PBC Fight Night press conference show. Kate here with Hall of Famer Ray Boom Boom Mancini, former WBC super middleweight champ Anthony Durrell with me as well. It is time to toss it out to Hall of Famer Jimmy Leonard Jr. for the press conference. Jimmy. Ladies and gentlemen, a very good afternoon to you as we welcome you to the Toyota Arena here in Ontario, California. We are at the site of Saturday night's big night of action as Premier Boxing Champions presents the final press conference for Fox BBC Fight Night. And it's all brought to you by Lions Only Promotions and TGB Promotions. Our big night of action is headlined by the rematch, highly anticipated bout for the WBC Super Welterweight Championship of the World, the rematch of Harrison versus Charlo, number two. A little bit more on that fight in just a few moments, but lightweight special attraction opens up our Fox PBC fight night. Let's meet our fighters at this time for our lightweight attraction. First, a tough warrior from Querétaro, Mexico. With a fine record of 13 wins and one loss, he has seven of his wins coming by way of knockout. Please welcome El Bravo, Rene. Tejas Hiron. And his opponent is a 2016 U.S. Olympian, proving to be a young force on the fast track in the lightweight division with a record of nine wins, no losses. He has eight wins coming by way of knockout. He is undefeated. He is from Santa Maria, California. Please welcome King Carlos Balderas. They need to uh, push Balderas more. That's why I say uh, PBC has the best production of the year. Um, c consistency of content between face-to-face, -face, fight camp, uh, PBC countdown, even this Run It Back series. Top rank, in my opinion, does the best with the up-and-coming prospects because they're building for the future. But Balderus is supposed to be getting a lot more, like, push, if that makes sense. 
a special attraction in the heavyweight division. Let's Content wise, like that First PBC, like that shit. Wins and <clears throat> PBC boxing entertainment, not a sport. You're tripping, fight scout. You're tripping. Cruiserweight title holder. He is a battle-tested heavyweight fighting out of Los Angeles by way of the country of Georgia. Please welcome Yago Kilunzi. Well, in regards to the pay-per-views, yeah, the pay-per-views piss me off, but I'm talking about the content, consistency of content. And his opponent is a formidable and powerful heavyweight known for his tremendous Like, they putting you in football games, all that shit. However, top rank does better with prospects, in my opinion. And their undercards are better. I only seen um, Tug fight a couple of times and I can't really remember. By the way, they're building Effie and Jogba to be the um, next Deontay Wilder. And also um, a contender in the PBC heavyweight rankings if they decide to make the PBC championship belt. It's risky with Mikey Garcia at 147, you know? And now my pleasure to hand over the microphone duties to handle our Q and A. I think the zone has the worst undercards I, 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 out of the big three. Oh man, I don't like when they have a uh, Heidi host. Thank All right, let me shut Heidi. up. Great turnout here tonight. Thank you. For All right, shut up, y'all. Shut up. Course, Damn it. On fight week, a special thanks to our fighters for being here. Uh, let's dive right into it. It's an exciting night. We have a uh, headline by a rematch that we've all been waiting for for virtually one year. And uh, these guys get to open up the show. Let's start with the lightweights. We'll, uh, we'll start with you, Renee, down here. 13 and 1 is that record. That one. No one ever wants to lose the zero, but that, that first loss came in June. Sometimes when you lose, it's a blessing because you have an opportunity to kind of look at yourself through a different lens, point out your flaws, and work on your game in a different way. What did that loss teach you? She's not going to be able to handle Charlo and Harrison, I'm telling you. Remember, I cover these Jones. All these. We're in for a bad night with her. No disrespect to Heidi, I'm just saying. First of all, thanks to everybody uh, for coming out here tonight. And uh, that first loss, I don't think I lost that fight. So, uh, you yeah. know, do you learn? You learned always, but uh, I didn't lose that fight. And Balderas is in for a war on Saturday. He says you're in for a war. What do you say? That's what that? he says. Well, you know, I'm not an Olympian for no reason. I've been facing the best fighters ever since I was 15 years old. Ever since I made the national team, I quickly made the Olympic team and I faced the best fighters around the world. So. He, he knows what's coming, you know, he knows what's coming. I've been here before. Um, it's a great opportunity for me, a big opportunity for me. I'm ready to make the most out of this. I'm going to take this opportunity with both hands. I'm going to make a splash. And 2020 is my year to shine. I'm going to, I'm ready for all the big names at 130. I have to get past Saturday, but I've been here before. I know what I'm ready to do. You do have the, the amateur experience, like 200 plus amateur fights, if I'm not mistaken, and that Olympic experience. But where do you have to be cautious against Renee on Saturday night? Uh, he's just a rugged, come forward fighter, you know, and um, I'm too experienced, you know. All my, my experience is going to speak for itself, and my, um, you know, my talent will speak for itself Saturday night. You know, we both can say what we want to say up here, but, you know, my skills will speak for themselves on Saturday. Renee, do you think his experience will matter in this fight? Pues, nosotros no estamos... Nosotros también tenemos mucha experiencia en el cuadrilátero. Hemos ido a lugares muy difíciles de ganar y lo hemos logrado. No creo que esta sea la excepción. Conozco, he visto videos de Valderas, pero es rápido, pero nada difícil, nada que no se pueda. Uh, we've also gone to a lot of uh, tough fights. We've had tough fights everywhere, so... Uh, you know, he's quick and I've seen video on him, but it's nothing to write home about, you know, it's something I can conquer. 
All right, well, it promises to be fireworks at lightweight. That all kicks off at 8 Eastern, 5 Pacific. Then we head to our co-feature, the heavyweights. It will be 10 rounds of heavyweight action with the two men. The co-feature was supposed to be uh, Guillermo Rigondeau at 118 versus, um, forgot the guy's name. Rising, undefeated. And this fight was supposed to open up the broadcast. Well, you are coming off of a... a Three losses, one split decision draw in your last fight. What do you have to do against him to get yourself back in the winning column? Hello, everyone. Uh, I know he's a young guy. He's strong and uh, he doesn't have experience. Uh, nah, like Rico been in wars lately, yo. 21 fights. I have tough fights, a lot of tough fights. And uh, I think... Uh, he's gonna try go forward. The guy but couldn't get his visa. I worked a lot. Uh, I was not Rigo, the other guy he was fighting. So punch, stronger punch, and I I will show a Saturday night. I I was looking forward to that fight. I actually, believe in myself. And uh, and it was I taking place at one eighteen. All right, okay. They Saturday was building night. him to be to fight Luis Neri, Rigo also, versus uh, Neri. And Rigo's got his own problem for weight. Uh, leading up to this fight, that you plan to knock him out. Uh, do you think that his experience will be a factor? And, and thoughts on his comments here? Um, I know he has the experience, so he fought so good fight out, you know. He lost the them, you know. So I'm not going to tell everybody my game plan. So I'm sticking my game plan to Saturday night. So I'm looking forward to that. What will be the key to beating a, a guy like Yago? Well, Without giving away the game plan, what what do you have to do specifically? Uh, Remember, uh, F.A. Ajagba. You know, so I have to test with my job, you know, to look, to see how he feels, if he can take my job, because I know he has the experience, so he, can, he, can, he, can, he, he wants to take me on one in the wing. He knows he has yeah, the experience, all that stuff, so, you know. So when he moves, so when he, when he receives my job, you know, from upstairs to downstairs, well, I know he's going to stay in one place because he's not going to move all at once. So I will allow him to move. That's where he's going to get to. So I'm looking forward to that. Speaking of that jab, F.A. does have a, a rather crazy numbers when it comes to his output. He's, you know, double the average. Well, back to the jab jab and the punches are right in the division. How do you stop that him from throwing that much next volume? Contest in the heavyweight division. Let's take a look at our corona tail of the table. I, Kamal Saluki, his, his trainer. Okay. Basically, you know, our plan is to go in there and implement what we've been training on and working on, make him uncomfortable where we feel and believe that he's uncomfortable at. You know, so that's pretty much it, not to give up too much of our game plan, but we're going to go out there, we're going to give a good fight, and we're going to do our thing. All right, well, we are certainly looking forward to it. The action, again, as I mentioned, it's on Fox, 8 p.m. Eastern, 5 Pacific. Now we know it's all headlined by this rematch, highly anticipated rematch between Tony Harrison and Jermel Charlo. We know that these two don't necessarily love one another and they are gonna be joining us on the stage and when they get together, we never know what's gonna happen. We're gonna do a little bit of a reset here uh, and we will bring you that action next. But for now, let's send it back to the studio to Kate Abdo. Thank you very much, uh, Heidi. You guys, just want to get your reaction from that. F.A. Jagba, kind of an undefeated sensation, young Nigerian coming up through the ranks, 11-0, nine knockouts. How skilled is he? How much do you like what well, you I see like from him? I like him a lot. I think he's, he's, a, he's a heavyweight to be, watched, uh, be watching. Uh, he's not far off from breaking into the... He's already in the rankings. I covered this. Remember, that was a long-ass walk. He's pretty strong guy. amateur pedigree. So I, I like, I like Jagba a lot. We've seen him on the card of some big yeah. fights as well, haven't we? He seems to be comfortable in these scenarios as well, Anthony. Definitely, definitely. He, he, he has a punch. He always has a puncher's chance. He's just like Wilder. He has a puncher's chance. And uh, going in there with this, uh, with him, uh, it's, I think it would be a good fight. I think it would be a test for him, especially with the fights that he had. It would be a test. Okay, well, still to come for you right here on FS1. Tony Harrison not only defeated Jamel Charlo last year, he's also convinced that he's already won the mental battle ahead of their rematch. Judge for yourself next when the current champ and the former champ, Jamel nope, Charlo. Nope, that was all bullshit, stage. Fight Scout. That was all bullshit.
reaction to that. Man, I love it. What happened with Jorge Cota? Jorge Cota boosted him back up. Boom, boom, boom. So now I'm beating his chest again. I'm, I'm the man. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. I had to throw all them distractions. I'm, but now what I'm going to do is again, I love it. The people are like, oh, yeah, we got Jamel back. He, 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 back, he back on his, he back on his game. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to break him back down again. That's what I do, piece by piece. I'm gonna just break him down. If you wanna learn something, come, come sit by me. Come, come, you know, come shadow me a little bit. I'll show you something. And the new After Jamel Charlo lost his WBC Super Welterweight belt last December, he wore his emotions on his sleeve. He felt he was robbed of his title, and that's driven him forward the last year until his second shot at Tony Harrison. That How first fight, you? December 2018, 12 rounds. When those scorecards were read, all three judges in favor of Tony Harrison, what'd you read off of his face when those scores were read? Oh, why? Oh, oh, oh. No? You a clown. Oh, that's a clown, right? He's a clown. <laughs> hey, B, listen on, to me. When you, when you, if you, if you get the opportunity to replay that, Everybody well, when doesn't they, when have, when they, when oh, they, shut up. When they, when, when, when they was reading the scorecards, oh, what, what I was doing, I turned oh, my back, I did this, I was doing this. I'm like, okay, yeah. Oh, yeah, your this score. Cross, maybe your this, 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 this what I'm doing. I can do a show with. He, he, like I said, he live in his mind. I'm in his head, too, so I, I know what he talking. He, I'm in his head. That, that's, that's something that's come up a lot in the build to, to this fight. Him living rent free in your head. I'm rent free in that. If, if this sport is not a monopoly, I'm living rent. I'm living rent. I'm dancing. Tony, let's give him a chance here. He says, as far as the mental game is concerned, he's already won the rematch. How do you sit Ain't with nobody that? nobody winning or nothing in the mental. He's mentally mental weak, man. Trash. He's mentally weak, talking. period. So listen, when you talk, when you he talk emotional, mental, man. listen to this. He emotional, man. I'm a passionate person. You emotional. I'm a winner. And when they took that from me, of course, a passionate person going to have a different reaction to a person that used to losing. He could take that in and walk off and huh, hopefully I'll get another fight. You could have had another fight. Yeah, in June, but unfortunately, I'm you here took the now. Unfortunately, Why you keep talking about? Why you Cause talking I found about? out where your heart was, and they ain't gonna mention well, it. Nobody, well, you don't want me to talk about it. You don't want me to go back and tell whatever, the truth whatever, about things. Whatever you you want, lied whatever. to your city. You lied to your fans. Mm -hmm. You lied to I everybody, out, and I you mean. pulled out the fight because you wasn't ready okay. for what I was getting ready to deliver to you. But it ain't went no well. The problem is, you get I get more ammo, I get more investment to invest into me, to invest into myself, to destroy you. <laughs> There's fire. There's fire coming back from this side of the table. What is it about this rivalry? Why was he talking like as an Tony, some type of demonic Trump being? That brings out I'm going to destroy you. I'm very he, 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 he probably want to be me. Like he now. gathered some special type of he holy fear, water or he, something. He fear everything. I would never want to fear everything Detroit, about me, bro. Unfortunately. My life he is fear, amazing. He fear everything you know about me. About he, know, he, he know I'm a threat. Why would I ever want to be another man? He know I'm a threat. Because you like the way you like the way I walk, the way I walk. You like the way I got my TMs untied. You like me. You like anything about me, boy. Which, <laughs> you like, I don't even have a pair of that he like, shoes in my clothes. He like the way I do what I do. He like the way I talk what I talk with these buffs on. You don't even have a you don't even have a confidence in yourself saying this thing. He like the way I, laughing at your hey, own jokes. B, he like the way I do what I do. To a sucker. He's a sucker. This character, this energy he portraying ain't really him. I know something about you, boy. You made out of style for him. As long as he's walking his earth, there's nothing he can do to you. All that Detroit, yeah, yeah, yeah. They might not even respect you in your own city because how you let them down before. I'm gonna dominate that man. I don't like Tony Harrison. I'm gonna dominate that man. Tony Harrison is his name. Live my Shut life. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. You make no sense. Shut up. Speak facts. Shut up. Back to the Fox BBC press conference. That was Tony Jamel going at it on Face to Face. Uh, Kate Ray and Anthony here with you. Heidi Andrell caught up with the champ just moments ago. Thank you very much, Kate. Well, Tony, it's here. It was almost one year ago today that you walked away the champ, but there was not, there was a little bit of controversy around it. There's been kind of a cloud a little bit around this title for you. How has this year been because of that? Uh, I mean, they, they needed some kind of headlines. I mean, I, I mean, I guess, I guess we made it more interesting, right? Controversy means interesting. So uh, it's just for me, man. I, I got, I had a year off. I had a year to kind of rest and get my, get my thoughts together, enjoy myself, enjoy the belt, enjoy the victory, and uh, we back here to do it one more time. You know, you mentioned a year layoff. This is the longest layoff for you in your career. How do you think that affects your mindset coming into this fight? Uh, I'm really, I'm more hungry. 
it hasn't affected my mind state not 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 one not one not one moment. Um, sparring was intense for me. Um, I think I think that's where I got my my the rust off for me. Um, was in sparring. I had some dog sparring, some some killers in there with me, and, and he, they pushed me every single day, and they tried to knock me out just like just like he gonna try to do. What do you have to do to silence the doubters in this fight? I just gotta win again. I gotta be myself, man. I, I think. Um, he can't, he can't handle somebody that bees themselves. I'm myself, man, and um, I'm already in his head. I'm rattling him every every, every five seconds. All I got to do is throw the one-two off of that, and then we good. All right, we'll see. Thank you so much, <laughs> Tony. We really appreciate it. Kate, guys, back to you. Thanks very much, Heidi. Again, listen, no doubt about it. Tony and Jamal have done more than their fair share of verbal sparring. Uh, who's got the better of that? Do you feel like, uh, who, who do you think has got the mental edge in this? I moment? think Tony does. Tony, he has a way of getting underneath Jamel's skin. You know, he says things and Jamel gets irritated and Tony says, shut up, shut up. That gets uh, more irritated. Tony, to me, won the verbal psychological battle. I, I agree. I, I don't think, I don't think uh, uh, Jamal is, is, is focused. He's ready to just knock, go in there and knock him out. And that could be a disadvantage for him trying to go in there and knock him out instead of sticking to his game plan of what he did in the gym. Uh, do, you, do you agree that Jamel is getting too emotional then? Have you ever had that experience where you get too emotional and somebody kind of, you feel like it affected you in the ring, the, the way that somebody got you before the fight? Uh, I, I never get too emotional. I mean, you can't, you can't let this get too emotional. You, you get too emotional in this because it, it, it affects your mind. You, you, get, you win three parts of the fight. It's the press conference, the way in, then you win the fight. And that's, that's how my mindset is. And, and Tony's up 1-0 right now. <laughs> no, well, I, first of all, he's right in the sense that you, you got to keep your composure, man. Look, all this stuff, is, it's, it's all dressing. It's all window dressing because until you get in the ring, it don't mean anything. If you don't allow it, if your mindset that I'm just going to worry about when you get in there, you're going to see me all night long. I don't agree that the press conference and, and, and the way in, that's, that's it's dressing. It don't mean nothing. It's, 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 when, it's, when we come fight time, when they're, doing, when they're giving the instructions, that's going to come to Jesus meeting at that time right then. And when, when the bell rings, that's it. It's still a mental thing. I, I still think it, it matters. I mean, because if you're not mentally ready to go into this fight, you you won't win the fight. And I think everybody know that. That's one thing that Floyd Mayweather had is the mental part. He had that down pack. If he can get in your brain, in your head before the fight, he had you beat. Mm -hmm. Well, it's no secret that these two guys don't like each other much. But where does this fight stack up against some of the best rivalries ever at 154 pounds. Let's take a look at some notable grudge matches in the division. Uh, Sugar Shane Mosley found himself in deep, uh, in bad bloods in a pair of rivalries in the early 2000s. There's Miguel Cotto and Antonio Margarito. Uh, lots of disdain there as well. So as we take a look at the tail of the tape, Anthony, does this have the makings, do you think, of an all-time rivalry between these two? I do, I do. I think uh, if, if Charlo beats Harrison this time, I think it'll be another fight and then it'll be a rival. I think... If Harrison wins, you know, it, that, that'll be the end of the discussion. Don't do it. I, don't, I don't know if it's going to live up to a... I don't know if it's considered a rivalry yet. Rivalry yet. I think if, if they do it a third time, certainly. Uh, but right now, I just think it was an entertaining fight the first time. Generally don't like each other. It makes for good, good, good TV, good fight, good entertainment. So let's see what happens. Okay, well, Tony Harrison and Jamel Charlo are going to have one more chance to get their final words in next when they hit stage for today's press conference. There he is, the former champion, live backstage. He is just two days away now from the shot at revenge that he has been stewing about since last year. One of the softest I've ever seen in my life. Like, literally. Like, he get up here and bark. He talk, he make excuses. Oh, you know I won this. Oh, you know I won that. Come on, man. Like, I beat your ass the first time. I'm, I'm, and I'm, and I'm here again. I don't know why they, well, where they getting this? Oh, you, you scared you back down. If I was scared, I wouldn't be here right now. I didn't take, I didn't take no fight in between. I didn't listen to me, man. I didn't take. I, this, I, I, I haven't fought for a year. I didn't, I, didn't, I didn't call Al Ham and say, Al, look, I, I, I've been off a year. Just, just can you please just give me some? I said, Al, toss me right back in the smoke. Let me, let me, let me go get this unfinished business. Nobody go come let me go get this. Un, let me go get this. Un, let me go get this. Un, I don't give a fuck. I, I get paid regardless, nigga. I don't give a fuck about who come. You ain't get paid. I get paid regardless, fool. If, if I can fight you in the bathroom, as long as Al Ham go cut me the check, fight me anywhere. 
I'm going to beat him anywhere. I don't give a what. Where is that? Watch Ray Flores start bitching. Look at him in the back. We can fight in this room right now. Hey, I'm going to get paid. What's up? You're a real nigga. You're a real nigga. Do what you got to do. What's up? You just talk. Yeah, you can't move. I'm right here sitting down. And so am I. And so am I. And so am I. You a hoe, nigga. You a hoe. Punk ass nigga. You a hoe. 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 It's all theatric. Listen to me, man. Listen to me. Listen to me. If it was, if it was like that the first time, everybody see. He seen it in my eyes the first press conference. He seen it in my eyes when I was in this shit. Like, boy, what's what you want to do? He like, oh shit, he crazy. Yeah, yeah, I am crazy, motherfucker. You seen it the first time. Yeah, I'm, I'm about everything that he that he think he about. I'm about all that. I want all the smoke. It's all theatrics for him. He, he, it's all theatrics for him. He gonna talk his shit and, 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 and get five, six bodyguards to walk around him and say, look, I'm gonna escort this man because he know he can't fuck with me. I'm gonna walk out by myself and every time I see him and every time I feel disrespect, shut the, the fuck up. Nobody fuck shut up. Up. So you can't shut up. up. Shut up. Shut up. Anybody like you can walk shut out. Shut up, boy. Shut up. Ain't, ain't nobody know you, nigga. Don't nobody know you. Yeah, I'm, I'm one of the best. Don't nobody know you, boy. You, 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 you parade yourself. You, and, 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 you, and, you, and you parade yourself and you parade yourself around this motherfucker like somebody gonna do something to you. Yeah. Because you a hoe. Because you, yeah, ain't nobody, yeah. You, see, hire some more motherfuckers. Shit. Ain't nobody going to Yeah, you're right. You're right. Boy, I, 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 ain't, I ain't went nowhere. And I ain't worried about nobody you got with you, nigga. Stop it, pussy. Stop, pussy. Stop, pu I ain't no cool. I ain't no cool. Ain't no respect for you. Ain't no cool for you, boy. Gotta be careful. The first one to make a mistake, it may be over. He's really turned the heat up right now. They're not making it easy for Jamel at all. Oh, big left by Charlo. Harris it up again. And the new Tony. You know I won this fight. You know I won this fight. You know another one. And do it again. Welcome back to the Fox BBC Fight Night press conference show. That was a look back at the first matchup for you almost a year ago to the day. Kate Abdul Hall of Famer Ray Mancini and former two-time super middleweight champ Anthony Durrell here with us in the studio at Fox. It is time to toss it out to Hall of Famer Jimmy Lennon Jr. They went the whole full hour with this. Remember, it started at 5.30, 6.08 now. Well, fans, we welcome you back to the final press conference for Fox PBC Fight Night taking place this Saturday night here at the Toyota Arena in Ontario, California. And now the time has come to meet the principals in our main event of the evening, 12 rounds of boxing. I think this will be watered down, a though. grudge match for the WBC Super Welterweight Championship of the World. First, let's take a closer I like how they got the undercar shit the out the way, though. The former world champion, he is determined to regain his belt. Let's take a closer look at Jermel, Iron Man Charlo. I'm the best boxer in the world. What a shot! I'm pretty sure it was a nice talk that the powers that be had with them. Like, all right, listen, this is TV shit. Be mad, but don't be cussing and shit. Don't call nobody no nigga. And don't say ho. Maybe say ho once. And here he is. But Please don't overdo it with the hoes. Houston, Texas, one of the sensational boxing twins, making his sixth appearance in a world title bout, seeking to avenge his only loss. Please welcome the former WBC super welterweight champion of the world, Jermel Iron Man Charlo. <laughs> Oh look, he keeping his cool. He cool. What if that's really Jamal they sent out? What if they did some shit like that one day? I know it'd be kind of difficult. Super with the the world, Just saying. Tony Super Bad Harrison. I'm the ultimate competitor. I'm the ultimate warrior. Harrison's making this a chess match. I've always walked around with a chip on my shoulder. I'm gonna box him. Harrison stunned Charlo with that right. I'm too much of an athlete for you. I'm too good. And now here he is from Detroit, Michigan, 
with a record of 28 wins, two losses, 21 wins coming by way of knockout. He'll be making the first defense. Tony in the shit now. Longer. He got to walk the it. The WBC super welterweight champion He's of the world. He's deep in the shit Tony, now. A super bad you better keep that same energy. <laughs> that is a long ass head. No homo. The main event of the evening, a grudge match in D12 rounds, WBC Super Welterweight Championship of the World, Tony Harrison, Jermel Charlo. I don't think it's no more commercial breaks right, either. Ladies and gentlemen, my pleasure to hand over the microphone duties for our Q&A session to Fox Sports reporter Heidi Andraw. Heidi, it's all you. Thank you, Jimmy. Man, well, please don't fuck it up, Heidi. Please. What is to come Friday night? You are not going to want to miss this again. I will say it again. It is 8 Eastern, 5 Pacific on Fox. Let's get right down to it. A lot has been said between the two of you. I know they're gonna get Heidi good, right? Fight, I hope they do. Rematch. I want chaos. We'll start with you, champ, Tony Harrison. Is this animosity? This hate? real or is it been manufactured to hype this fight come on do it come on i mean nothing nothing, nothing about me is is fate um everything i do if i do it if i say it it's, it's real it's, it comes from my heart so the 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 beef between me and him i don't know where he's standing from but it's real when it comes to my eyes um i don't like him i don't know like, like nothing about him um he did some First, after the first fight when I was nothing but respectful to the man and it just it turned the tables turned from there um, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a humble beast when you wake me up it, it's time to wake me up and he, he woke me up I mean it is what it is I mean we, we stand where we stand where we go from here is where we go from here now they probably well, put the best sensor button person the, in the, the city first press conference with the two of you in the it country very cordial what has changed um, I don't even know it press conference it was I don't remember all I know is I'm ready to fight he, he all hype the only thing fake about him is that injury he put up but he we here now so I, I mean it's whatever I'm I'm, I'm gonna crush him it's crushing him we, breaking season he brought up the ankle a lot of talk about this ankle injury let's go there what's the story with the ankle is it better are you good are I think that ankle shit was fake don't even talk to me about that. I'm, I'm, I'm in the same. I'm, a, I'm on the no same surgery. stage. He's sitting on. No surgery. Why the fuck is we talking about an ankle? Yes. He's standing on. Two days. Two days later. I ain't no excuses it for me. It was a fake injury. That's nah, what whatever fake. you want. What, you what, let, let me let, 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 everybody listen to me. It. Let me tell you something. Fake. Let me let me let me let me tell you what kind of world we're living in right now. Everybody hyping him up. I guess. Nah, ain't nobody. Don't nobody need to hype me up, man. You got all them do boys over there telling you what what you is and what you and you not. You not that. Who souls? You know Heidi that, don't know what to do now. What kind of world we living in? We living in a world that, that a guy like him, everybody got the money. You he got the flash, he got the seven. jewelry, he got the cars, he got the clothes, you don't he got jealous? the followers. Are you jealous? And, uh, jealous of what? I'm are telling you, you the kind of world we living in. You so mad? everything you say, because you got the followers to bag it up, it, it's make, it make it golden. That's the kind of world we living in. But, 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 but listen to me. But listen to me. You got to stand on principles, homie. And I'm going to make you stand on principles. Whether it's through boxing or, or, or without boxing, you, I'm gonna make you stand you on principle. Saturday. I'm gonna make you stand on principle. You gonna look like I don't care how many followers. followers you got. You gotta stand on principle when you come over here, homeboy. You didn't want that Coda action. Well, you you bring up Coda. Um, after that fight, you told me Tony Harrison is thanking himself that he didn't take this fight right now because I'm a different fighter than I was the first. He gave time me more I time now, Eddie. He gave me more time. I'm much stronger, much better, much faster. What did you do with that time to ensure that you go out and leave no question answered? I didn't, I didn't, I didn't leave Tampa and go to Tampa. I didn't leave my home t state and my city. Is that, you, is that a home. bad? You act like that's I a bad thing. At home. You acting like you. Did, see, do that make me less see. or more hungry? Oh yeah, you. you do, that, do you think that made me less yeah, or more hungry, you, you, homie? You, 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 I left my family. A little bit more. Yeah, I left my family. It made me more hungry, fool. Okay. Yeah, my Tell family me. was there, training with me, riding with me, grinding with me. Fighting with me, hurting with me, sacrificing with me. Yeah. Everything we did, we did it together even more. 
No, no boy, I bought my family. I bought my I bought my team to a camp. We didn't need our, we didn't need my I didn't need my kids there. I needed to be hungry. Why did you change it up, Tony? I needed to be hungry again. He, you, who, he woke you, up that you beast. The champ. Why you he woke hunger? up that beast. Aren't you the champ? Why you lose your hunger? Why you woke up that beast? I ain't need to be in Detroit. Detroit know I'm the champ. They know I'm the champ. After I won the title, I knocked out two, shut up. two top number one guys. I, okay, well, guess what? I only want to fight fighting is you. I won the belt and I fought you. I'm fighting you again. I'm going to beat your ass. I'm going to beat your ass. And y'all going to hate me for it. Matter of fact, I'm going to gain so many fans off of you and I love it. I love it. Right. I had like 40,000 followers fighting you. I got like seven more thousand. And when I beat you again, I'm going to get like 30 more thousand. Who cares about I'm, I'm going to get all I'm gonna get all the follow that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get yeah, everything we, you got. I'm we gonna, know I'm gonna who, own we, that. We know shit. lines only in the I'm building. Own... <laughs> we know lines only in the building. Well, let's talk some boxing, shall we? I want some of those followers too. What you gonna do about it? You know it. Nope. And a whole team if you want it. Let's talk about the last fight for a minute. Do you feel. Stick to boxing. Like you could have done anything differently in that fight, or would have done anything differently in that fight, Tony. I had three judges. I said I won. Why would I need to change anything? So are you, oh, are you, you. planning to change anything? I'm happy. I broke I'm my out back. Here like LeBron James with the three rings. What do you mean by that? Your back is What a, a vertebrae? I or, had three or a judges like Spinal. this. You think I care about Count what he has just donated him, like, two dollars. Oh, I'll never forget how he ate poor Rivanda's ear. Shame. Good to have you back. Miss Content Happy Holidays. What you do? Now I gotta refresh. Hold on, damn it. Hold on. Fucking Fox Sports Go. Don't worry. I have it on my DVR. You fucked it up. But thanks, man. Don't worry. Ah, watch live. Her, get us back in the shit. I had to get mentally. I had to get mentally correct. Tell the truth. Nothing physical. Tell the truth. I had to get mentally correct. Tell the truth. What about, what about you? For the I watched the Fox did this great show where the two of you re kind of rehash what happened in that fight. You seemed very calm. Um, you said things like, I kind of rushed things a little bit in that see, fight. See, see, I'm, I'm a fighter that, that live and learn, you know what I'm saying? We, we, we know how to progress. I was once a fighter at the top, so it's okay for me to understand how to go down and come back up. But when I come back up, I come back up way harder. This, this, this was a learning lesson, the best thing that ever happened to me. They made they made Happy the true champ come out, out of the me. Best. They made the true champ come out. You know he ain't on my level. Oh, I'm not gonna say you, but you know they know he ain't on my level. They know what I possess. They know what I stand and how uh, what I mean and how I stand by what I mean. Yeah, I'm one of the fighters that have. You know, it's it's, it's easy to not like me, but you know that has nothing to do with what I'm gonna do to him Saturday. He yes, said he's gotten in your head and he feels like you are an emotional walking person. Walking in that emotional. thing. Give me boy walk apart place. They taught him good lyrics. Give me a boy walking park place. <laughs> so, uh, no, he had games so, over here. So, has he? Has has anything he said throughout this gotten under your skin? Uh, nothing. Absolutely nothing. Uh -oh. you can't, it's, it's, uh -oh. un, it's unbelievable uh -oh. to, for somebody to live that mentality, to think that they could get into another man's head who live and die by this, who put their life on the line for this. This is not the same. You, It's not get, it's, it's not a comedy. You can't get in nobody's head. Get in somebody's head. That's, I don't even understand that process or what they even saying. Get in my head. I but think I'm he's in Jamel Charlo's head. What are he's you gonna, getting ready? Right? I'm gonna get ready. Knock I have to do fuck the hands. Sat do you feel like you have to knock him it's out? So by me, no, man. I want to knock him out. I'm going to knock him out. So, do you plan to do things differently early in this fight? Not rush things like you did, or do you plan I'm to be set up the right shots? I want more cuss words, honestly. And to slip through the cracks. You gonna be interviewing him after, you know, knocking him out. What do you say to that, Tony? He knows. Man. He knows that power. He knows it. <laughs> Them knees was man. all flapped over man. the ring, all over the. Man, you know what, man? The like, like I, only people he can convince of that stuff is the people on his team. He had twelve rounds, never stumble me, never rock. Like, all right, like, like whatever, whatever. Ask your family. Did you get rocked? I, mean, I guess I ain't rocking you. This I guess, time I'm sleeping your ass. I guess if I got rock, I got rock. One thing for sure. So what you just fight, talking about? Man, this, making one thing for sure. So, so this fight right here. World. This fight right here in California. Wherever he wanted to be, Lions only promotion. It's this fight so because of me. The sentence he had retarded. He, he, it ain't sold off him. This fight sold off your boy. 
They coming to see your boy. Detroit stand up. They coming to see your boy. Come on, man. Do you feel like you victim. felt? Do you feel like you felt all that Jamel Charlo had to to offer in that? He last gave night? me everything he offered. He gave me. I mean, listen to me. The same Jamel you seen fighting Trout, fighting this person, fighting that. It's been the same guy. He act like, oh, I had to do this different. I'm gonna teach different. you how to come get a belt. Come on, man. I'm gonna show you how to come, come take get the it. Title come the and get, listen to me, homeboy. You got, you got, you got, you got two side. days before you can show me. I'm gonna show you how to take convince the belt. Me. I'm don't show convince me. Don't convince them. Don't convince your yeah, people that you love you. Convince up. me. Convince me. When they waking your ass up. Uh, I'm woke. Two more days. I'm woke. I'm woke. You got a lot of mouth. Convince me, though. Don't convince the people that love you and say, oh, man, you're gonna kill him. Kill him. But convince me, man. You can kill me. Convince me. You got 12 rounds to do it one more time, son. You got 12 rounds to do it again. Convince me. We cannot wait for this fight. I know I am not alone when I say that. I'd like to give the, uh, the mic, the podium, over to our fighters. We will start with closing comments from the champ, Tony Harrison. Tony? We're here once again, man. We're here once again. Once again, I'm, I'm going to do, do exactly what I got to do to a sucker that 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 needs to be done to him I, I i just love i love everything about this i love everything about the the talking the the oh i i had the, it was the best thing that could happen to me type of speeches like once once again i'm gonna say it one more time he fought her head coda boom knocked him out boom ah you hear the crowd ah Jamel's back. Jamel's back. So what I'm going to do to Jamel, now that he's back on top, now he knocks somebody out, he's back on top, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to humble this man again. And that's my job. My job is to just humble Ease him. Ease him of their pain. Because like they just on top. Like they just oh my the God. strongest, Ease him of his pain? toughest guys in the world. And I'm telling you, that's, that's, his team is geek. They geek him up. But once, I, you know, I look oh, they kick Heidi off the stage. I, I ain't mad at that. But don't get, don't blow his head up though. And be like, oh, well, you just go and you just. just no, I don't do that to him. I want to get some Let's chicken. Up against the animal. You're a comedian. He up Keep against going. the animal. Right, and he know that. You're a comedian. And he Keep know going. that. I'm the champ. All right, I got you. But I'm the champ. I'm an animal. And I, I'll still take two over. Days, man, I'm an animal. I'm gonna show him. I'm an animal. I'm an animal. Two days. Sorry to interrupt, but I got to I got to give Jermel a chance to come to the podium and, and give us his closing comments as well. I'm a, uh, appreciative of all my Lions Only fans and everybody that come out here, our crew members. Um, thank you all so much. Live on Fox. Al Heyman did a great job. Fox did a great job. I'm, I'm glad that they showed my story. The undercard going to be lit. Everything is done professionally and correct. Uh, the Detroit native will get what he deserve. I, 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 I'm a man of my word and I do what I do. And he knows what I'm about to tell him right now. It's Mr. Keep running your mouth. Running That's what I do. I'm running my mouth. Well, all the talking is done. We have seen I'm some grudge matches it up. in boxing and we have seen some grudge matches at 154 pounds. This one could be a classic. All right, you're not gonna wanna miss it. For now, we'll send it back to our friends in the studio. Kate, take it away. Adi, thank you very much indeed. They're still going. Uh, this is everything you want to see in a press conference. Guys, what do you read from the body language right now and, and the whole way through? That this fight is going to live up to the hype. This, they generally hate each other. They can't stand each other. I think this fight was is got to be, you know, a, a candidate, a best of the year candidate. Big on my man, TB. How that press conference went. I think, uh, I think Tony got in his head again. Honestly, I think he won that battle again. It, but uh, we'll see when it comes up to fight night. Well, I've said that before. I said if the fight is half as good as the press conference, we're going to have a fight of the year candidate. <coughs> Excuse me. I agree that Tony probably won the battle of the press conference. I said verbal battle, psychological battle. He's got the edge right now. But I like Jermel's, uh, I, I like his demeanor. I like that he's all business. I like the fact he's, a, you know, talks about his shape and he wants that to come back and get, and get revenge. I love all of that. I think it's just, it's, it's everything you want in a fight. Everything. <laughs> if they don't start fighting now, if they don't start fighting now. <laughs> uh, just, just. Yeah. 
Does Jamel appear to you to be a little bit too bothered about what Tony has done, where he has done his training, whether he was injured? He's bothered about a lot of things that he shouldn't be. He's got a lot of things that it, it's got in his head that, that shouldn't be in his head. I, th I, I think so. I think he's worried about the, uh, the past. Water under the bridge is what I want to call it because he keeps talking about a foot injury where he did his camp. I mean, I go off to do my camp every time. It's just less distraction. You go into a place where you're uncomfortable and you're going to be more hungrier <laughs> once the fight comes up. And I think that's what Tony did. I think his mind is, uh, J Jamel mind is somewhere else. But I think come fight now, he'll be ready. Don't worry, Ray, we'll get you a tea in the break. It's still to come with the final verbal jabs thrown. What are the keys to victory when the actual punctures start flying? You are watching the Fox PVC press conference show. We're going to talk more after a short break. Stay with us. What we decide on the bodyguard to walk around him and say, look, I'm going to escort this man because he know he can't fuck with me. I'm going to walk out by myself, and every time I see him, and every time I feel disrespect, shut the, the fuck up. Nobody fuck shut up. Me, so you can't shut up. Yourself. Shut up. Anybody like you can walk shut out. Shut up, boy. Shut up. Ain't nobody, nobody know you, nigga. Don't no nobody know you. Yeah, I'm, I'm one of the best. Don't nobody know you, boy. I'm one of the best in the world. You parade yourself. You and you and you and you parade you, 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 yourself, and you parade yourself around this motherfucker like somebody going to do something to you. Yeah, because you a hoe. Because you, yeah, ain't nobody, yeah, you see, hire some more motherfuckers. Shit, ain't nobody gonna do Yeah, you right. You right. Boy, I, 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 ain't, I ain't went nowhere. And I ain't worried about nobody you got with you, nigga. Stop it, pussy. Stop, pussy. Stop, pussy. I ain't no cool. I ain't no cool. Ain't no respect for you. Ain't no cool for you, boy. You know what, you now, know what's, what's next? What's next? What's next? What's next? What's next, boy? What's next? What's next, pussy? It's no respect, man. And I'm, and I'm, and I'm, and I'm, and I'm going to keep disrespecting, boy. Yeah. I'm gonna keep every time I see one. I'm, I'm, I'm hey, I look, look, pop. I'm gonna keep disrespecting boy because I'm gonna show him. I'm gonna show him each and every time, man. You, you got the right one to play with. This ain't Jorge Coda. This ain't Jorge Coda. Oh, Jorge Coda going to go start, start speaking, start speaking Spanish when you start talking and be like, oh, thank you. Nah, you got somebody from Detroit, dog. Okay. That whatever you want to do, we can do at any given moment, cuz. I don't, you could be with a hundred of them. You could be with it. You, you could be with a hundred of them. Bleed, blood, whatever you want to do. On power, you could be with all of them. It ain't gonna stop nothing. It, not, it don't stop on nothing. Shake, bro. All the money in the world don't make you a real motherfucker. Use a hoe. I don't give a how much money you got. I know a bunch of a millionaire hoe ass hoe ass motherfuckers. You one of them. Use a hoe. But you fake the injury. <laughs> Man, <laughs> December twenty first. You fake the injury though. Talk about the mic. Y'all ask him about that motherfucking foot. And I know where to position myself at. I know where to be. You can continue to ask questions, bro. I'm going to talk all day. No, uh, right, right, Tony. Thank you very I'm going to talk all day, right, well, Tony? Well, well Tony, yeah. for you. Your head held low because you know what it really is. You are defending your title. You're going to be coming off a nearly a one year layoff. Are you concerned about ring rust whatsoever? And tell us about there is obviously animosity between both of you. I don't like them. Do, do you guys do you fight better like with emotion like or, not, or without me. emotion? Because it's clear that there's no love loss between you two. I, I don't like them. I just I man, listen to me, man. Like when I say I want to fight him, like at, like every time I see him, like like that's like, it, and, and, but it's crazy. Like it, the the sport demanded so much for me. For me to go back to the way I used to be, like for what? For 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 a pussy like him, he he he's so man. I'm telling you, I wipe the flow with. I mop the flow with somebody like him. In any given day, I mop the flow with him, and I'm here again, man, to prove it once a fucking again that he cannot fuck with me. You act like your and chin ain't made out of styrofoam. That's with a styrofoam chin on you, bro. Man, you man, shut up. Your chin is styrofoam. He, he can't, man. You tear it up. You, did you do it? Yeah, you knocking you everybody. On that Come ring. on, man. You got you, 33 fights. You was fights. holding on to me in the last round. 12 rounds. We only get 12 rounds. This is facts. We only get 12 rounds. This is facts, bro. We only get 12 rounds. This is facts. You get 12 rounds, this is facts. You get 12 rounds to make your own fucking fate. You had 12 rounds to do it. Now, when the shit don't go your way, so, you act like so a fucking you, broad. So you act like a fucking broad. Oh, so when you win the judge, you got it wrong. Oh, this. You had 12 rounds to make your own fucking fate, cuz. The same way you did Jorge Coda. You had 12 rounds of that shit. He's a legend. That's all there is to it. What a shot. Fighting with passion, with emotion, with purpose. It takes everything. Next Sunday, 
Inside PBC Boxing beckons in the new year with a special Inside PBC Boxing Top 40 Spectacular Fights of 2019. All of PBC's greatest moments, unbelievable upsets and devastating knockouts in 2019. The countdown begins next Sunday, 6 p.m. Eastern, only on FS1. Okay, welcome back to the Fox BBC press conference show. Kate, Ray and Anthony here with you. Ray, what are your keys to victory for Jamel Charlo in this fight? For me, Jamel Charlo has to pressure, 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 constant pressure, be in the chest of Tony Harrison, be a junkyard dog. Two, con concentrated body attack. Bang that body, don't even think of the chin, don't even think of the head until you touch the body. And four, uh, uh, three, shorten your punches. Last time his punches were wide, Tony was punching up through his, through, you know, in, in the middle, you know, of, of Jamel when he was too wide, Tony's punching inside of him and up the middle. Shorten those punches. Keep everything a bit tighter. What about Tony Harrison? Tony Harrison got to keep using his jab. Uh, he did an excellent job with his jab the first time. Uh, he came in, he was countering with his jab, and he was very effective. And number two, don't bang with him. Def definitely box him. I try to outbox him this fight. And then uh, throw more punches. He have to throw more punches. He have to be more active. With, with, it, with this fight to win this fight. Okay, well, you've got to imagine that the stakes are massively high in this fight, uh, certainly for Jamal Charlo. That is it for us. We're going to... Damn, they just cut them off. Like, that's, that's it for y'all. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull it up on my DVR so we can go back and watch some clips. So in the meantime, um, listen to this sweet goodness right here while I set everything up. Be right back. Your, your own, own fucking, fucking fate. fate. You, you had, had 12, 12 rounds to do it. it. Now when the shit don't go your way, so, you act like so a fucking you, broad. So you act like a fucking broad. Oh, so when you and the judge got it wrong, you all this, you had 12 rounds to make your own fucking fate, cuz. The same way you did Jorge Cota. You had 12 rounds of that shit. Knocked him out of three. Oh, oh, 